Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this episode we are going to be discussing Rare Bear. Now, if you've got no idea what the Rare Bear is like, let's cut to a quick clip. Engines are... As you can tell, it's a beautiful summer's evening here. We'll bring it back down. It flies, it flies about this speed actually on 2S, and this is 3S, unlimited vertical, and that's probably a tiny little dot for you. Hear that swoosh? They are absolutely skits little models. Up we go. Over it comes, straight down at us. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that then? All glide again. It really is a bank and yank model. Absolutely fantastic fun. The roll rate's a bit lame on this one, to be honest, mainly because I normally cane it, so you don't need that much uh, uh, aileron movement. But I do have high rates, and it spins on a dime. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> right, you might now understand why the Rare Bear uh, is up there in the top 10 models of all time, uh, because it's absolutely bonkers okay now um, you wouldn't believe the speed of this model it is easily a ton on 4s and I uh, like that's 100 miles now those of you don't know the slang uh, it's easily 100 miles now on 4s it's up in the 70s on 3s and believe it or not you can fly this on 2s granted that you need to fly around on full throttle all the time or maybe swap the propeller over to a slightly bigger blade but for all intents, but you can you can fly this on 2s. I've flown this one on 2s when I've run through, I've gone through all my other batteries. Now the rare bear. Now I, I need to tell you the biggest and well, there's two negatives right now which you need to know about. Okay, and you'll notice there's two of them on my desk. The thing which you need to know about is that number one, the packaging for this model is terrible. And I mean terrible. The chances of you having a damaged model turning up with you is quite high. And I'm afraid to tell you this, okay? But that is the start reality. And when I say damaged is that I've had three of these here over the last year or so, uh, and all three of them have been damaged. One of them was just beyond repair and I've basically thrown it away. Uh, thank thumbs up to Banggood, so they, get, they gave me a full refund for it because it was in such a state. Uh, where does this model get damaged during the packaging? Typically it's back back here uh, on the ailerons and it's just a really crappy box and the other one was just smashed to pieces. In fact this one, uh, I don't know if you can how well you can see it on the back of the uh, ailerons just back down there, uh, is that that's where it got damaged and again I've done my best to try and restore that as, to my best of my abilities. The other thing about this model is the motor mount is exceptionally weak. And this is one of the reasons why I've made this video for you, is because right now I've, I've been and fixed my original Rare Bear, uh, and I'm here working on Rare Bear number two because I don't think the days are gonna, the, this one's days, number, uh, the days are numbered, like really, really numbered, okay? Now, with that said, I mentioned the motor mount, it is, uh, the, besides the packaging, it is the weakest thing in this kit, okay, or for this model, the motor mount by far. And I'll show you what I mean is that, uh, let me just hold that there a moment and I'll zoom right in, get the zoom the right way, okay. That motor mount in there, if I can hold that still, you'll notice that there's a bit of glue around the back of that and uh, you'll have to take my word for it, those two arms which are going off to the right of the screen, uh, I've also put some goop glue on those as well. And if we have a look around inside the motor mount there too, you'll see there's no real ability to put any glue on the inside. And the thing is, is that this, that because the model is you, is part model and part my fault. I've got to be honest, which is 
part the, the 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 speed controller does have a soft start on it. So you need to. By the way, you need to get heads up for that when you're spotted when you get yours. Is that when you put the yes, you put it on full knacker, and then it thinks about it and then goes wee off we go. Beautiful summer's evening here. So that does cut out some of the bang or the punch or the torque from the motor itself, uh, which does, which will, I see does, will, because I've had it on that one, will rip out the motor from the motor mount out, okay? And there's very, very little foam there for you to be able to uh, restore that. And actually on this one here, uh, I broke the previous motor mount, if I pull this lid out, uh, and uh, inside there I do have a 3D printed version uh, to, to replace it. Uh, because it was, I, I did I just broke into pieces. Such a pain in the rear. Uh, now, anyway, I, I've been here mentioning so many bad things. Okay, these models are absolutely bonkers, and a huge tip for you because they are so small and so fast. Also, by the way, it's one of the fa it is the fastest, quietest model which I own. Okay, literally it's 70 miles an hour easily on 3S way over a ton on 4S, okay? Uh, and uh, by the way, the ESC is rated for 4S. Now, you're, you, you, you're probably looking at this and going, Matt, what a state at the bottom of this model. Why on earth have you sprayed this bright, or I believe that's a luminous orange that side and bright red that side. You need really bright colors on the, these wingtips for orientation. This model moves so fast, it is so nimble, literally, you can fly this thing across the flight line and you can do, let me do this on like this way, right? you can do squares like this. You can literally do that, probably about that fast as well. And then you can turn it back around and then do it in reverse as well, and upside down and go around like that. It's absolutely bonkers. As such, you need very, very, please take it from my words, the first, uh, I knew how fast this model was and I, this one's always been sprayed on the bottom uh, and it has saved me so, so many times, okay? That said, let's pass on some tips with you. So, well, that was big. We mentioned about packaging inside like tips, okay? Color code the bottom. Spray paint really bright, okay? Or some stripes on the bottom, that definitely helps. Now, another thing is you need to carbonara this model. Why, what do I mean by carbonara? I mean you need to put extra carbon strips in this model. I'll put some links to carbon fiber strips off Banggood in the video description for you. Again, for absolute clarity, uh, all links in the video description are affiliate links. If you use any of those, you will be supporting this channel. So with that said, uh, some carbon fiber from the wing tip all the way out. Again, these front two are supplied. We'll get to a little tip for that in a moment. Uh, I've put extra carbon fiber along here from both wing tips. And you'll notice on the new one, which I've also got here, I'll turn this one up the other way around. Uh, you'll see that I'm in, in the process of doing exactly the same thing. Three mil carbon fiber strip, uh, cut in, mounted in, and actually goes into the fuselage itself with CA glue in there too. Uh, this one's not complete yet because this one doesn't have a carbon fiber strip down the middle, uh, nor does it have a carbon fiber strips uh, in the elevator surface. Uh, sorry, in the elevator surface. It, I've already put carbon in the elevator, and I've also already put it put it in the ailerons, exactly the same which I've done on this one, but you'll see on this one I've put, <laughs> I've gone on and put extra carbon fibre uh, in there and also a carbon strip down the centre section as well. Now a massive tip for you, and it, uh, Andrew who was here actually ironically last night, Heady 2008, is that we were doing this together and inside there you will see is that there you'll see some black stuff and some brain pooey looking baby sick stuff, uh, that's epoxy, okay? Now when this deck arrives with you, when they, when yours arrive will arrive with you, they they on that one they actually epoxied the two uh, carbon fiber strips together. This one they weren't even touching. In fact, well <laughs> they were out by a mile. One was too short as well. So I've put some extra carbon fiber in there. I've put some five minute epoxy down there too, and literally filled up that whole cavity. Uh, with epoxy and the reason why you want to do that is because the sheer amount of G's you pull in that direction and when you're in reverse as well because it's it's even more bonkers doing uh, reverse maneuvers so uh, instead of using the elevator to go up you go down uh, 
yeah, you need that kind of support in there. So there's no other glue which I can suggest. Goop glue, then definitely not. You need something hard with a tiny bit of flex in it, and that's epoxy. I've used five minute epoxy in that one. Uh, and again, it's exactly the same what I've been and done over this one. So you, to get the lid off, you pull it forwards and then pull it out. Uh, and you'll see that down inside of there, I've done exactly the same in that one uh, and filled it out uh, with epoxy. Also, the little ESC, that will get hot. Okay, uh, if you are gonna, if you're going out for a day's caning on these, uh, try and fly it like every other flight. You need to like take, leave the lid off and let this ESC get cooled down, uh, because if you do what I did uh, and run three 4S 1300 uh, mini outfit packs one after the other, uh, that thing was trying to melt. Okay, it smelled wrong. I think I melted the solder and <laughs> probably melted the solder on the inside of it. Okay, uh, not good at all. So uh, take my word of uh, advice for that one. Just let it cool down. Uh, you'll also see that I've got the receiver back here, and that's going out. Now, one thing which you can easily see in this model, but I'll show you in the other one. Uh, because it's at the stage where I'm just putting these things together. Oh, remind me control horns, they are terrible. We'll get to that in a moment. You'll see what I've been done here is that I've done the carbonara trick, carbon fibre rod, uh, with, uh, show that on there, so you'll see what I've done. I've just been able to make this push rod uh, more rigid by just using a bit of um, heat shrink on there and a bit of CA glue and then the the blowtorch on there just to uh, heat it up and seal it. So that means that this rod, push rod, won't flex. Okay, and it's exactly what I've done over there. Uh, you'll also notice there in the elevator fin, we've got a little bit of carbonara in there as well. Now that has been put specifically, can you just see just there? I hope that when it focuses, it is underneath the control horn. Okay, it's underneath the control horn. You'll see on that side there. Uh, that means that this surface now has maximum authority, that clevis passes all the control through there uh, to a much wider part of the actual elevator fin itself. Now I did mention, I just remembered a few moments ago, the control horns which come with this kit are absolute rubbish. You need to rip them off immediately because they will fall out in your hands. They use epoxy to secure the uh, control horn down uh, onto the actual uh, surfaces, both for the ailerons and for the elevator, but they don't sand it so the uh, epoxy, you can just wobble it and it falls off in your hands. So take those off immediately, throw them in the bin. Okay, get yourself some decent um, control horns. Uh, you will see what I've done on my newer one. Oh, I've just hit the camera. I do apologize. There we go. I'm going to put this around. I'm failing badly here, aren't I? There we go. There's the control horn down there. You'll notice that I did file it back a bit as well, uh, just there. And I filed that back a bit. Okay, I will also, uh, just on the clevises as well, uh, I will also. Uh, put some heat shrink over those just to make sure that they stay in one place and up in place and also because of the speed of this model I'll also use some fuel tube uh, to ensure that the clevis stays closed too. Now I've mentioned quite a few negatives here and, and also some tips for as far as the build goes but I think it's also worth pointing out is that I've had no need to change any of the servos which have come with the kit and yes they may only be plastic good servos but they can cope with uh, literally 100 miles an hour plus flying uh, and the reason for that is two reasons number one is that the servos are top mounted they're pulling rather than pushing you uh, so that you get more control okay so on like not like a wing wing z84 where the servos are underneath so when you're trying to go up it's pushing against and not going very well uh, this one has the, this one's apps been absolutely fine okay the servos have been there are fine i have not i have no inclinations at all in this brand new almost bare bones one to change the servos because they have been fine one thing which you do need to look out for is make sure that your servos are in. A uh, big tip for you is, uh, what, what I'll be doing on mine as well, is putting uh, some hot glue in each of these corners. And also, you should see, at least on this one side, uh, some fibre tape as well, just to make sure the servo stays in. Okay, just for my own sanity. All right, now, one thing which I will be doing on my new version is that I'll be giving it a spray job uh, on the bottom, and these stickers, they just, 
they just peel off. They're absolute rubbish. Okay, so once I've peeled those off, I will be giving the bottom, uh, each of the wings, a spray job, and then I will be laminating the model. Okay, because uh, one thing which I found with this one is it really did. I've, I put tape along the bottom. That was a very simple fix. Okay, um, but the wing tips are really starting to show signs of wear. Uh, you don't really see it on there, but you'll have to take my word for it. They're all crumpled and they're all really flexible, uh, and that's something which I'd like to try and avoid with the new version. Besides that, motors fantastic. ESC is fantastic. They are one of the craziest models which I own. I really do mean that. They're for the for the speed compared to the noise compared to the fun oh they are just amazing line of sight models okay the 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 taking some of putting the other negatives which i've mentioned to one side the only way which i think that you could perhaps improve this model okay so ignoring everything which i've said before the only thing which perhaps you could do to improve it is maybe put a rudder in that's the only thing which i can really suggest beyond the, the niggles which I've mentioned. Uh, they are absolutely brilliant fun, but just be aware, if you can get these in your own country, buy them from your own country. The last one which I had was apps, well, sorry, the second but last one which I had was absolutely mullered, okay? Banggood, like I said, thumbs up, gave me a full refund for it. Uh, if you, if your local Hobby King site has these in their warehouse, get it from Hobby King okay or another manufacturer now this model also goes by several other names now i cannot remember those names off the top of my head so i'll put those names down in the video description for you uh, also with i'll put a link to buy this model okay remember it will be an affiliate link so you will be supporting this channel something which i like to be a hundred percent clear and honest about uh now i'll also put links to the control horns as well also those come with some clevises 50-50 on using those clevises to be honest uh, and I'll also put the links to the carbon fibre as well you'll want strips for the wing you'll want so let me turn this one upside down you'll want extra two extra strips for either wing you'll want to put strips in the ailerons which I think I have mentioned uh, you'll also want to put a strip in the tail in the elevator fin as well and what I did on the other one the, the original which I can't believe is still in one piece let me just pop that back on there, we'll sit that back and round, uh, is that you'll also want to put a piece down the centre section as well, just for extra rigidity. That's what, I'm, that's what I've done on my original one, that's what I'm also doing on the new one as well. I know some of you are going to say, Matt, can you FPV this model? And yes, you can. It is bonkers, absolutely bonkers for FPV. Uh, I know that our flying main flying site, you can, I can literally fly from one corner to the other uh, in about three seconds. Uh, so it doesn't matter where any of the lads are, I can be on top of them, diving at them in like a moment's notice. Uh, so you know what it's like you, you've got the goggles on and you, you've gone off onto your own little zone and you're doing your own thing and then you think oh where have they gone uh, and then you hear them chatting and say oh where are you two then and then they tell you oh, I'm over by the end of uh, T-Bona bang straight over there oh hello Matt <laughs> uh, so yeah you can FPV these uh, to be honest I do prefer these far more uh, as a line of sight model because they are so small they're so fast and they're just so much fun but like I said they do come with a lot of negatives and I also need to be you also need to be fully fully aware this is not a first time model okay I probably even wouldn't suggest the rare but as a second model for you this is more like a third or fourth model where you've got some good experience up and you're capable of handling a model which will do a hundred miles an hour across the flight line in front of you inverted or up the right way round, uh, and then turn and go vroom, straight for the moon uh, it's bonkers and the little motor which comes with it which is a d 28 25 1950 kv is perhaps one of the best motors i've ever come across as far as this model was concerned it's bonkers and i think i'm gonna leave this little mini review uh, on the rare bear with that saying it's bonkers so with that said for myself matt if you have any questions about the rare bear please just ask these are 
Oh, this model is one of my favorite. It's, the, it's in easily in the top 10 of my favorite models of all time. Okay, they are bonkers. It's, I'm not going to say it's Wing Wing Z84 territory because the Wing Wing is the miles cheaper uh, and more potentially more versatile. That said, these things are absolutely skitty. So if you have any questions, please just ask in the comments section underneath this video. And with that said, for myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, press the thumbs up. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Hit the notify little icon if you want to get updates when the next video is going to be out. Uh, and yeah, Rare Bear, look out for some more videos on these, this one shortly because I've just literally just prepared this one. This one's now flight worthy. Uh, this one needs another day or two prattling around with it uh, to, to get it to like because my version one's very good don't get me wrong it's bonkers as it is but like I said I want to laminate this one I've still got some carbon aura to go in it uh, and uh, yeah look out for some later videos on the rare bet they are really good fun so for myself Matt cheerios